a part a linear transformation is given uh, which is x it looks like x to the power 1 but it is not x to the power 1 it is x a dash on top which is called prime x prime is 3x plus y and y prime is x minus 2y okay write down the matrix for the linear transformation okay so first part we have to write the matrix for linear transformation so x y will be our point any point and the linear transformation will be in front of it so what should i write in here so that their multiplication becomes uh, 3x plus y and x minus 2y x becomes x prime 3x plus y y becomes y prime so simply what are the, are the coefficients here we will be written writing it here 3 1 1 minus 2 so if I multiply these two now 3 times x is 3x plus 1 times y is y and this is the linear transformation matrix 3 1 1 minus 2 part 2 find the image of 5 4 under this linear transformation so we already have it here let's transform 5 4 with it so it will be 3 times 5 15 1 times 4 4 1 times 5 5 and minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 so the transformation will be 19 and minus 3 find the inverse of the linear transformation that is the third part Okay, for inverse, we know that uh, uh, inverse, let's call this one, this matrix A, this one, A. So A inverse will be one over the determinant of A multiplied by adjoint of A, okay? So let's find determinant of A first, which will be three times minus two minus 6 minus 1 times 1 which is minus 1 negative 7 so minus 1 over 7 okay adjoint in adjoint we just interchange 3 and 2 the 1 with which are the uh, diagonals minus 2 and 3 they change their places and we interchange this 1 and 1 but their sign minus 1 and minus 1 here this is the inverse and if you want to expand it, you can write like this, 2 over 7, 1 over 7, 1 over 7, and minus 3 over 7. That's the inverse. Let's move on to the next part. Next part is this one, where they're saying the point 5 minus 8 is rotated through an angle of 45 degrees anti-clockwise. So let's say 5 minus 8. 5 minus 8 will be somewhere here. Let's say here. And this is the vector which is joining these two. It is rotated by 45 degrees. So let's say 45 degrees is somewhere here. I'm just assuming, okay? I'm not uh, doing it accurately. So they're saying what will be the transform after rotation what, what what will this coordinate become for that we have a straightforward formula which is uh, cos theta on these diagonals and sine theta on these diagonals but this this one will be a negative one and then we write x y here so we know the angle is 45 degrees it is clockwise so positive side sorry anti-clockwise yeah it is anti-clockwise positive side so uh, we'll write here cos 45 degrees minus sine 45 degrees sine 45 degrees and cos 45 degrees and x y x y let's give them a value now cos 45 and sine 45 both of them are 1 over square root 2 so let's write their values This is the answer of part one, which says matrix for the rotation. This is the matrix for the rotation. 
if you want to be more accurate or adventurous just take 1 over square root 2 out of this and we will be left with 1 minus 1 1 1 x y this is also cleaner and uh, easier representation of the same rotation all right next p prime or the point p under the rotation okay now we'll try the point p which is 5 minus 8 in place of x y and that's how we'll get the rotation for this point so we already have 1 over square root 2 1 minus 1 1 1 and we will put 5 minus 8 in place of x y and we'll get it now so 1 times 5 is 5 minus 1 times minus 8 is plus 8 and 5 times 1 is 5 1 times minus 8 is minus 8 so final answer will be 1 over square root 2 13 minus 3 this is the rotation part and if we want coordinates are the same coordinates we need to write image yeah image is the coordinate so p prime will be 13 over square root 2 minus 3 over square root 2 right and they are the coordinates Thirteen over square root two minus three over square root two are the coordinates of the image. 